And Maurice has some good news that she wants to share with you. She's excited about this one. Hello, everybody. Hope you guys are doing well out there. We are doing just great, and Maurice has some good news. We bought a ticket again to the Philippines. <laughs> Yay! We picked the end of November because it's John's birthday, and he likes to fly in his birthday. Yeah? Yeah, I do. Uh, years ago, I flew to uh, uh, Canada on a trip uh, and on my birthday, and uh, and then I also, on another holiday, I flied at Christmas uh, somewhere. I can't remember where it was. But I really enjoy flying on holidays, uh, certain holidays, because the planes aren't very crowded normally. So you just got to watch which ones you pick. So that's, I really enjoy that, and it's kind of a fun thing to do, because I'm not really the kind of person that celebrates my birthday. Um, I mean... You don't like cake. I, well, it's not the <laughs> cake so much. Um, I do love cake. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like the way it makes me feel after I eat it, but I sure like eating it. Opening gifts? Uh, yeah, I just, you know, <laughs> it's kind of a repetitive thing, you know, when you get older. So, um, anyway, not a big deal to me, but I would like to go flying on my birthday, something like that. And getting back to the Philippines, which we've been trying to do for so long, and we got messed up with it initially when we came back in 2019 to the States to take care of some kids' business, yes. our children, and we got all that done. And, and yeah, I got my American citizen, and I became a dual citizen, so that's very good. Now the children became dual citizens too, mm -hmm. and uh, some other things along the way were, were accomplished. Uh, so it worked out re really well in the long run, but we've been dying to get back to the Philippines, and we can start doing more videos on a um, a lot more frequently because uh, I think I've expressed before that we just never have been that interested in doing uh, videos or touring to America or anything. That's that we leave that to the people that want to do that. Um, our heart is really more in the Philippines and the culture there. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a lot more videos. I know we haven't been doing many, um, but there's a reason for that, guys. So yes, uh, we're, we're gonna once we. Um, in fact, from now on, we should be doing more videos because we'll we'll do the process of getting back to the Philippines and the whole thing. And then uh, it looks like at this point we're going to have to do one thing I really, really am against, but I'm going to do it because um, at least we're not doing the other thing, you know, the other thing. We're not doing that yeah. to ourselves, so um, we remain uh, free from that. But... Um, we just want to get back there in the holidays to be a good time. We missed a couple of Christmases already, uh, thanks to the drama of the last two and a half years. So we're just going to um, do our best. I'm going to do my best to bite the bullet and <laughs> and uh, do the nonsense of the quarantine. You know, I'm a healthy person. None of us is ill. But it's the first time in history they ever started quarantining people that aren't sick. Yes. That's lunacy. So, mm -hmm. anyhow. But gonna... because we want to spend Christmas over there, spend time with the family, especially our kids, Brianna wants to spend Christmas over there really bad. She keep talking to us every day. When are we going to the Philippines? Every day when she wake up. Yeah, and then my my lovely bride here keeps saying the same thing every day. <laughs> so uh, that's in between all of them ganging up on me. Um, I just got to... Poor kinda, daddy. I, yeah, yeah, going to give in. And, and the other thing is that our lease is up December uh, 7th here. So we don't want to renew the lease, and we've already given our 60-day notice here. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually gave 90-day notice. Um, our 60-day uh, notice is, is really... We're going to actually be out of here... We figure by about November 15th, um, and we're going to start driving to uh, Reno. To Reno. Uh, we got to visit the storage unit over there. and Sending LBC. Yep, yeah, LBC um, boxes. we got to decide what's going to go there. And then I still got to decide if I'm going to put my car in storage over there in Reno or if I'm going to try to sell it. So that's, uh, that's uh, we have a lot going on here right now. Yep. Yeah. 
You're going to be able to manage all the moving and uh, all that. We have stuff here we're trying to sell. We're going to sell this beautiful new TV and the sound bar, yeah, the sound bar uh, with it and uh, just all kinds of stuff here. Um, we're trying to, and then the beds, we can't take those if we can't uh, sell them. Uh, we're going to give those to um, Goodwill. Maybe, well, no, hopefully somebody else. No, we'll see. But, uh, Goodwill's a for-profit industry, so I'd really prefer to give it to the church or someone else. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, somebody that deals with foster care kids or some kind of charitable outfit. Um, so I found one over here uh, called Blue Sparrow, and they uh, help children that have been exploited and trafficked. So but anyway, we're gonna, we have a lot of things to do. So, And then I have to buy... Maurice wants uh, a new um, iPhone before we leave because it's harder to get it over there. So there's some things we've had to buy. Um, a few things more we have to buy, don't we? Yes. Yeah. We have things to buy, everything, and then... Yeah. Yeah, and then at this time, we bought the, our ticket in Singapore Airlines. We're going to try this Singapore Airlines because it has a good reviews about it. That Also, Bryson... I don't have to wear a mask because it says over there that under six years old don't have to wear a mask. So that's a plus right there. Yes, and I hate, I hate wearing masks myself and I don't believe in them one bit. Um, but so, but I've got to buy me something that's comfortable. Um, but uh, I'll do my best to comply <laughs> with their um, rules on the airplane. But uh, in America, all those rules have been abolished because of a federal lawsuit. So no longer are masks required in the United States on airplanes. I don't know if you guys all know that. I'm surprised how few people know that because the uh, liberal media won't, won't uh, spread it around. They don't want you to feel f like you're free. So uh, that's true. Uh, masks are not required on American airlines. Uh, in the airport it is still, um, even though they don't protect from anything. But it's just part of the um, charade is going to continue. But uh, we're going to we're going to get on that plane, God willing, and get back to the Philippines and and uh, be flying on my birthday and arrive in there in Cebu and find a good ho uh, quarantine hotel, aren't we? Yes. So we need yep we need quarantine hotel. We're going to bring that to our flight and then one health pass. We need the QR code. The One Health Pass might be abolished by then. Yeah, maybe uh, we'll see. Because Japan just abolished the uh, One Health Pass. Is no, that, that uh, PCR uh, oh, testing the PCR test, for departure. Even better. I'd rather have that. I'd rather have that one. Yes, yeah, so it started on October first. Japan, uh, they said no more mask, and then they were let go the PCR testing for departure. Yeah. So I hope Philippines. We'll uh, do uh, but, uh, Yeah, I hope Philippines abolishes it pretty soon. Yeah. It's pretty much been abolished here in the United States, so... Um, Even the PCR testing, I don't like yeah, that Yeah, it's grossly in, inaccurate, the PCR test, so uh, that's more nonsense have to put up with it. But we're going to do it so we can get back and uh, see the family and, and start our new adventure. You know, kind of continue where we left off when we were back there in uh, 2000. Uh, last time I think we were there. 2019. Yeah, we returned to the United States in 2019, and then all of a sudden, the, the uh, drama the began. Drama, the drama began. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, what else do you want to talk about here? We got we got quite a mess here, as you can see. Yeah, as you can see, I start packing today, but I kind of slow down a little bit because we still have one and a half month. And then once I start packing, I'm not gonna stop. So. <laughs> yeah, Maurice is really fast with packing. It's uh, yeah. surprising. Uh, That's how quick me. She is. She's uh, she's good. I like packing. So. And we're really looking forward to getting our children uh, over to the Philippines, where there's a lot more adventure and things for them to do outside, and and the kids are a, a lot more um, friendly over there, and the culture's better and kinder, um, and get them uh, away from their iPads. You know, one of the things when you're a parent in raising children nowadays is a constant battle with the the computer uh, and the iPads and all that technology stuff. They get so obsessed with it and then it really changes their behavior. So we're looking forward to uh, getting them off that and uh, getting outside to have a lot more adventure and fun. And uh, don't you think? Yes, because I noticed uh, Bryson, we bought iPad for Brianna and Bryson brand new. And then Brianna's playing this uh, thing, Roblox. And then Bryson copy her because he saw what Brianna's playing and he really like it. So we try to uh, give it to him. Oh my God, I noticed his behavior 
when once he played that thing and the character that he was playing is kind of a fall apart kind of a you know uh, lost or got, lost or, or got uh, kicked by somebody yeah kicked. and then he gets so upset upset i mean yeah, and he's so that? so addicted to these games. He cry and stress and whatever. Yeah, it stresses him out. He he, he wakes up in the middle of the night with uh, nightmares. Nightmares. And it goes on for a couple hours, and uh, it's really dangerous. We feel like these. I, I saw some studies on a long time ago, and I haven't seen anything since about it. Um, but they they are very di uh, damaging to ch children. They're just too they're too young, and even parents get affected by too much time on the computers. But uh, on the video games and all the stuff that kids play on and TikTok and um, not, not so much TikTok, but no, because, yeah. all those games, you know. The and, games is the one. The and so many hours on it. They just want to stay in there. They don't want to go outside and play. So I'm really, sometimes I'm really sorry that ever um, we ever purchased those uh, iPads for the kids. But on the other hand, they're getting very smart. I mean, there are a lot of things they do learn. They learn and, everything uh, in there. Yeah, Bryson knows how to navigate so well for three and a half, and that's how it is with the kids these days. Mm -hmm. um, it's really, I, it's, pr it's probably a double-edged sword, you know, but I don't think the little minds are able to, to handle the constant looking at the screen and all that, and uh, makes them, um, turns them into um, very emotional, emotional and high-strung, um, uh, and, and angry, they get, yeah. they get angry sometimes. Stress. So once we get them off it for a while, then they're fine again. Oh, I end up deleting the games. Oh, and Bryson's yeah. all, iPad. All, all Bryson's games now are deleted. Yes, um, even Brianna's not playing right now either. All Brianna's are, yeah. are pretty much deleted except for two TikTok. Does. TikTok, TikTok. He's always posting videos on there, but she's gets really addicted to even doing that. And then I noticed. After I deleted uh, Bryson's uh, games in his iPad, he's not playing right now for a few days. And he's a really behave, a good boy, smiling, no more nightmares at all. So that thing, that games is really messed up in kids' brain, I believe so. And uh, it's, uh, a lot of parents uh, kind of get uh, lured into uh, letting them do it because the kids are quiet. Babysitter the yeah, kids. Yeah, it's like a babysitter for the kids. Yeah. You know, it used to be the cartoons on TV, uh, that would be enough, but uh, they find that these kids can take care of themselves for uh, hours on end on these little iPads and all, they just get so um, so uh, addicted to it mm -hmm. and mesmerized by it. So yeah, so that's, that's why we can't wait to bring the kids uh, back over there because you know why, in the village, uh, Where my family is, there's a lot of kids over there. They can play, run around over there together outside, and there's no Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, no, well, there is. Yeah, they, uh, there's no Wi-Fi, but they're they're more fun. They're looking forward to going outside, and they like to play with all the kids and all the uh, fun things to see and do. Yeah, and just, with a family. It, yeah, just family stuff, and you're more uh, more uh, um, apt to be outside. You know. Um, here in the states, like in this uh, apartment complex, or even when we had homes in the past, um, you hardly know your neighbors anyway. So uh, we've been here for how many years now? Oh, wait, no, just one year. One year. So <laughs> not quite a year yet, but it'll be a year by the time we end our lease. Well, I don't know anybody here. I don't know any neighbor right there. Oh, I just door. met. I finally met my neighbor downstairs. One of our neighbors downstairs. And uh, it's because uh, she needed me to uh, jump her car. Oh, yes, she knocked with, the door yesterday. Knocked my door. <laughs> that was so, funny. Yeah, sir, could you help me jump my car? My car won't start. And and uh, the um, the tow truck guy wants $125 to, to, to come out and jump her car. I know, that was the so first time, the first time, I, time I met her. Yeah. They knocked the door. I was shocked. Who's knocking the door? We have no no somebody over here. We don't have no friends over here They're knocking. I yeah. open it. I even leave the latch on open. It's a lady, and then she said, Hey, sweetie, is your husband there? Can I speak your husband? <laughs> I was shocked. So. Yeah, she yeah. wanted something. So uh, that's fine because I hit her up today. Um, uh, that was yesterday. So today I was coming back uh, onto the property here, and I saw her walk into the mailbox, and I um, I asked her, I said, uh, Hey, I told her we were leaving. Um, and uh, about November 15th, I said, uh, we don't have a vacuum cleaner anymore because I just took our, our vacuum cleaner we bought purchased last year and it broke mm -hmm. uh, just a couple of months ago. So we had it less than a year. So I returned it to Costco, got my money back uh, yesterday. So we have no, I'm not going to buy another vacuum, just a vacuum one time before we leave here. 
Um, and we only have three bedrooms to vacuum. There's uh, the rest of it's hardwood floors and vinyl. So I asked her if I could borrow her vacuum when we leave on the 15th. So she is going to return the favor and let me borrow her vacuum cleaner. Mm-hmm. And, but um, all in all, we don't really know our neighbors. Um, there's a few people I say hello to finally after almost a year being here. Yeah. But yeah, they're they're re- really not friendly, like and uh, unopened. You know, they're cordial enough and uh, and uh, kind of nice, um, uh, and it's pretty safe and all that. We like that, uh, but they're not very candid. You know, candid like uh, very open. And we're very open. We like to talk to everybody. At least I do. I know you do too. Yeah. <laughs> you do. you, yeah you're, you're nicer than me anyway. Oh, yeah. I, I am. One other person. <laughs> so that is the skinny and what we're up to. And yes. we can't wait to get on it. We uh, look forward to posting uh, more videos like we did when we, were, when we were in the Philippines. Hey. Having activities and things that we want to share. It's more fun in the Philippines. <laughs> hey, that's for sure. So yeah. we'll see you guys in the next video unless you got something else you want to say. Oh, to those uh, our subscribers or followers that are asking about Joanne's wedding, check her channel right now, Beautiful Life with uh, Joanne and Amy. They just uploaded their wedding videos. It's like 24 minutes. And then she has more coming up. It's one hour and a half. I think it will be uploaded maybe today or tomorrow so that's all for today and we know that we're not the only ones a lot of you guys are also planning your trips to the philippines and we know who some of you are so good luck on your uh, travel plans too uh finally we're all kind of gearing up to get back over there so i know like three or four people that are going um, in the next few months in january also uh, philippines is kind of addicted because People go there and then they want to come back in America. And then after when they arrive to America, they want to go back to the Philippines and then yeah, <laughs> back and forth. We have, a, we have a friend that we're not, we have a, oh God, a couple of people I've known over the years. Uh, they, they get all um, kind of tired of the Philippines and uh-huh. they, they come, uh, there's one we know of last month that just did it. Another vlogger actually came back to, to the United States and uh, when he decided to just, I mean, he was all, you know, I know. ready to stay in the States. And he came over here, and then all of a sudden, he, and then it's within, a, a, within a week or two, he turned around and went yeah, back to the Philippines. They go, if United States, I'm going to go back to the Philippines. Yeah, once you get here and you see, you remember how, how insane it is over here, uh, I guess it was, that's what got to him. So yeah. There's, there's, yes, there's really no bad decision. You know, it's whatever you want to do. Life is short. Yeah, life is short, so just enjoy every minute. Yeah, that's part it. of the adventure, whether it's a, it may seem like a, a bad decision or not. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see you guys in the next video and uh, leave us a comment and uh, look forward to seeing you more in the future. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Bye.